Hi, I'm Steve Hoffman from Light Ends Equitation, and now I'd like to talk about speed control. So, for me, speed control is a, an emotional issue. You know, if I'm riding my horse along, I don't want to have to, mainly I don't want to have to, to hold the reins all the time to keep him from going faster. So, if I ride him forwards, he should be able to walk, trot, and canter and make downward transitions without my reins. So this is a, a prerequisite, I suppose, if you're going to do some collected work. So I'm just going to let him trot out. I'm not going to do anything about holding him back, push him into a trot, leave him on the buckle here, put the reins on his neck and just ask him to slow down. So I've just stopped riding with so much energy. I could even play with speed control within the gate. You know, if I take my life right down, don't touch the reins, let my legs swing slower. Can I get him to walk really, really slow? So just to watch my legs swinging right and left, I'm just slowed them down, made them a little stiffer, just to get him to slow down. I'm gonna bring him around, let him swing a little faster, put more life into him, walk him out, walk him out faster. So can he walk fast without trotting? Can he walk slow without stopping? And I'm just guiding him here, I'm not doing anything. Same with the trot, can I push him into a little joggy sort of trot, really slow, hardly moving trot, and just have him stay at this speed, not get all emotional about anything. And let's push him out into a faster trot. And just guide him, you know, I'll guide him around, I'm not gonna do anything to hold him with me. Come on, let's go. Let's go. And then I've got to stop rising and just get back into a slower rhythm, get into that joggy trot, and then slow down into the walk without touching the reins. These are things that some horses never seem to be taught. You know, you're just always holding them back, they're going too fast and you're having to control them the whole time. He was one of those, you know, I didn't hold him back, but He's taken years to get him to, to do what you can see today. I get into a canter, he might get out of shape if I don't do anything to shape him up, but uh, just let him canter along, guide him along a little bit, you know, drop the reins, just stroke him a little. Can he slow down? So I need to get my horses to this place before I try and contain them with my hands. So if you, you look at some horses, for instance, and the, the owners may think they have them collected, but in fact, they have them contained. You know, they're running off, they're emotional, they're going fast and they're holding them together with the reins to stop them going so fast. It's like driving with the brakes on. You're constantly trying to hold your vehicle down to a lower speed and the, you know, the throttle's stuck, which is your emotional state. You're going flat out emotionally and then you're having to hold on forever you eventually have to use more and more hands or, or stronger bits to control the speed. We need to get them. I'll try the other side. We need to get them so, you know, you could send them off fairly quickly and then just be able to quit and bring them down. All the way down. There. And I don't know whether there, and even from backwards from there. So that is, I call that emotionally balanced. You know, he's not afraid of the person that's on his back. Because you've got to, I guess, ask yourself, if they're going faster than you want to be ridden, are they afraid of something behind them that's following them? Or are they afraid of the person on their back? You know, because you might be afraid, you know, you love the horse, you like it a lot, but it's quite afraid of actually the person that's on their back and it's escaping from you. So you're having to hold it all the time. So that sort of, until you get the horse mentally and emotionally neutral, this is always going to be a problem. So I think that's another critical thing. We should always have our horses able to stop. What happens if your reins break? You know, you go out of control completely. I just want to be able to stop. Oops, gear failure. Get off and fix it. So that's something I think you should all work on. When I'm around horses, watching what's available to me and it became obvious a long time ago that people are not really aware of what's available to them in the horse they already own. 
and we all like that. If only we had a, a great horse, then we could have a good time with them. But every horse has the potential to do some amazing things. And I see my job as helping people understand how to unlock that potential in their horses.